Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be visiting for the first time a town called Venafro in Molise. There are so many beautiful towns and cities in Italy that it is difficult to choose which one to explore. For us, it is often the case that we visit a place as we run errands or have a particular reason to go to that area. And today is one of those stops. We are traveling to Venafro, which is in the province of Isernia, as we are looking for a car. The reason why we have to buy another car, I will leave for another video. So for now, just relax and enjoy with us discovering this new place. If you have followed us for a while, you will have heard me say that we live in the Basso Molise, which is pretty much the area closer to the coast. Venafro is in the Alto Molise, while in the Basso Molise the terrain is pretty much beaches and rolling hills, in the Alto Molise you can find more mountains and valleys. As soon as you leave the Basso Molise, the landscape starts changing very quickly and being in that area felt like being in a completely different part of Italy. The landscape often made me feel like I was in the north of Italy and I did not expect that. This trip definitely showed me a different Molise and made me realize that there is so much more to this region than just beautiful beaches and rolling hills. By now, I should be used to the fact that in Italy, there is always a surprise around the corner. The one that went past. The population of Benafro is just over 11,000 people and the altitude is 222 meters. Did I mention that it's located in a valley? Benafro's history dates back to the 200 and 300 AC. 
the historical center is large and you could just walk for hours and hours and get lost among its beautiful streets, rest at one of the parks, or plan to go visit one of its castles or many churches, or even the historical museum. To be honest, we just prefer to wander around and see what the day brings about. something oh oh that gray looks nice yeah. and look at the flowers are they real yeah. look how neat oh. the whole building inside is like a So it wouldn't be us if we didn't go to an area and check out the real estate and try to ascertain what homes are available for sale. There weren't many places in Venafro itself for sale at the time of our visit, at least online. But had we stayed longer, perhaps we could have kept walking around and found those that are not advertised, which is very common in Italy, particularly in the smaller towns. In other towns in the vicinity of Venafro, we saw quite a few places for sale being advertised, but we are yet to hear back from the people we contacted. Today, as I edit this video, is 30 degrees, and have you noticed that Aiden and I are wearing jackets on this video? Yep, that's how long it has been. I think we better hurry. As planned, we looked at the cars we wanted to and had enough time to chat with the locals. It was very interesting and kind of odd to know that people from this area prefer to go to the beaches of Termoli and Vasto in summer, the same ones we go to. Venafro is in this interesting geographical location near the border of Lazio and Campania. So we believe that people will go to the beaches of the west coast living there. 
but they told us that those beaches are usually crowded, more expensive, and that the traffic on the road is pretty bad to get to them. So they prefer to drive longer and go to the beaches on the east coast. Go figure! If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. I will leave the link on the description. That's it. I'm on a diet. <laughs> Uh, she brought the panic. Mm, grazie, honey. That's enough. Arrosto, arrosto. Grazie. Vitello. Yeah. Push, looks super soft. Uh, super, super morbido. Morbido. Buono! <laughs> Buonissimo! Just ate here! Antico Borgo in Venafro. It was delicious! Delicious! That's not a word. Delicious! Delicious! We ate our. I think I just so showed you but it was we shared one plate of pasta one plate of meat we shared and we shared um, seafood calamari a quarter of red wine and a, gl and, um, and a liter of water that was 41.50 a liter of water that was really nice and it's on this nice street with um, lots of parking parking is free from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. and we're just going to ah that's why the guy said near the train station I had no idea what he was talking about it's actually just like a minute walk from the train station right there so if you come by train we're super close to Napoli buongiorno we're very close to Napoli um, if you come by car or come by train for sure have lunch there but you have to book they're super busy look at that. it looks um modern but it looks okay yeah it looks cute it looks space age actually in the time it would have looked super space age huh. which do you think it gets pretty warm here We think that Venafro is for you if you prefer a bigger sized town that still feels homely. If you like Napoli but don't really see yourself living right in the middle of it. Let's be honest, it can get a bit crazy there. If you're not too fast about being very close to the beach. And if distance to an airport is of paramount importance to you, since Napoli's airport is about one hour away and Rome's Fiumicino just under two hours.
freak your mum out. I know. Okay, don't when you get to this thing here. Yeah. Right. Well, we can go. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much to our patrons for the generosity. Your extra support is really appreciated. Please consider watching this video. I'm sure you'll find it entertaining and informative. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!